What's up guys, welcome back to another EVE Online video. So in this video, I'm gonna kinda of go over the uh, Gila fit I used for um, the T4 abyssals. So we're gonna be using Raging, Raging Electrical filaments, which is a uh, tier four. Um, this uh, fit <coughs> is a little blingy, but um, yeah, I use this for T4 and T5. So just kinda of going over the fit a little bit here. We're uh, running Rapid Light Missile Launcher 2s in the highs for those. And then a uh, Kaldari Navy Scourge light missiles loaded into those. We use a drone link augmenter one just to bring our uh, drone control range up to 80k. And then for our rigs, medium EM shield reinforcer twos. And then a uh, 10 mm afterburner gets to May type. And then a uh, Republic Fleet large cat battery, uh, two of those. And then a Pitham A type medium shield booster, two of those. And then a Gistum A type multi spectrum shield hardener. For a T4, we'll only be running one of these boosters, but for T5, it helps a little bit. And our Lowe's Imperial Navy uh, drone damage amplifiers. We'll also be using the um, Agent, Agency Hard Shell uh, TBS Dose 2, and then a uh, standard blue pill booster. And what I kind of like about using boosters is their 30 minute um, duration. And so it gives you kind of a timer on screen, so you can kind of track your, uh, your time going through these. And if you've never actually done abyssals before, the way it works is you have three pockets to clear and loot um, within 20 minutes. And if you are still in the deep space pocket after 20 minutes, you will uh, immediately lose your ship, lose your pod. And uh, speaking of pod, go ahead and go over the, uh, the fit here. This is where a lot of the money is. We're using high grade crystals, the whole set. And what this is going to give us uh, shield boost uh, bonuses for the most part. Navlink, which will give us a little bit more speed with our prop mod, which will help get you know to and from. One thing you don't want to do is move too slow um, in the abyssal. And then a uh, capacitor management. The uh, I'm using the 804, and then light missile 905, 904, and then a rapid launch uh, 1004. Pretty simple. <clears throat> so what we'll do is go ahead and uh, get this started. And um, usually I run like um, orbit auto tracking for my overlay doing abyssals just gets a little bit easier to kind of like look around and kind of see what's uh, see what's going on so we're gonna go ahead and consume these two boosters and we'll go ahead and get this uh, filament going My immediate goal is to go for the closest um, extraction node to me. And I have the overview set up here. I'm also going to turn on Hardener and one of the shield boosters. And we're just going to kind of burn towards the first one here. And uh, all the frigates are still kind of far away. So I'm going to let them close a little bit. Because since they are frigates, we're going to want to help the drones out a little bit. I'm going to set default to Vespa here. They're also taking a little bit of damage as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to target this first node, which we're getting kind of close up on. Go and throw out drones. Get them on here. Actually, I have target back on, so we need to come out and... I'm going to use the, uh, the turret to actually take down this node first. And it's usually just uh, a one cycle on that. And then I'm going to loot. So 2.1 on that one I'm gonna go and kind of help these uh, drones out a little bit and then we're gonna select the uh, the next node that we're gonna start moving towards which one kind of watch our drones for the most part so they don't take uh, too much damage I'm gonna cut I'm gonna do like one cycle for the the launcher on each of these one or two just because we reloading on this thing can kind of suck. And as you see, we're still moving towards the uh, the next little loot things. We're just going to keep kind of targeting everything up. You want to definitely try to like do these um, as fast as you can just so you uh, don't run out of time at the end. So let's see, we have 32k, we have 32 range on um, our missiles, so we're gonna like not help them with that target, and we're gonna go ahead and get a single volley on this next cache. 
just so it's down. You start sorting targets a little bit. And now we're going to select here. Going to go loot. So we can close in on that. Go and get this frigate down. And uh, this should. We have enough ammo now to, uh, to actually uh, get this last extraction node down. And then uh, reload while we're burning back to the gate. So we can go and bring our drones back in. That one. Which actually, it's a little bit longer than 30 minutes because I have the skills for it. Um, so we're about 5 minutes so far. 4.2 value on that. Alright, so we're going to go and move to the next node. And what I'm going to do is, I usually, I, I see people not doing this on other videos and stuff like that, but after all the, um, the uh, rats are dead and everything, um, and if you're not taking environmental damage, I'm just going to turn off hardeners and boosters just to refill cap. Just because I've been burned a couple times doing abyssals where I've gotten nuded out just because I've let, you know, things run for too long. Alright, we're at 24 here. We're going to go and do a single cycle on here. I want to shoot it as soon as I can. Um, just so I can start the reload process. And also we can kind of go and set up for the, the loot button there. Go and reload. Our next target is going to be the conduit, the transfer conduit. And what sucks is this uh, node is like on the top side of this rock and our gate's down below. So I think that we can actually get on the bottom side of the rock and still be within range, potentially, to loot it. Well, to see. Yeah, just barely. Just barely. There we go. Now we're going to activate gate. Go ahead and start making our way down let's see we got about yeah we're doing pretty good a little bit longer on that node just because it's a uh, kind of really far out here but uh we'll have enough time we have two more um pockets to go through and then at the end i'll um I'll kind of throw everything that we got into uh, Eve Prazel, so you can see kind of like what the total. It's kind of different. It's kind of random. Um, it's really kind of dependent on like if you get a really good like T5, T6, or T4 um, filament, but then also the the red loot as well. So I turned off those boosters and hardener. Um, I've repaired my cap quite a bit, just in case we run into uh, any neutralizers in the next pocket. So we'll get in here, activate that gate, and it'll be the same thing when we get in. We'll turn on hardener and one of the, one of the boosters and just start burning towards one of the, uh, the nodes, which is 49 away from us. And then uh, all these uh, cruisers are kind of in our path. And so I'm going to go and throw out, drop one of these targets just so I can target the node itself. I'm going to hold off on helping the drones with anything until we uh, get that first node down. Should be in range right about now. Single volley. And then I'm going to choose one of these uh, cruisers to help take doubt as well. We'll see what one volley does. And kind of just hopscotching targets for the most part. We also gotta, you gotta make sure you, when you kill the node, you gotta like, you know, hit the loot button too, or else you'll just stop moving, which uh, kind of sucks. Once we loot that, then we'll uh, go to the next one. We want to kind of keep an eye on our ammo. Our drones can do a lot of this work while we're actually traveling in between nodes. There's no, you know, the 35 second or whatever it is uh, reload time can be really killer if you uh, get stuck. And then you gotta click that button a couple times at 7.4 on that one. We can go and burn towards this one. Go and target it up. I'm still not going to uh, help the drones too much until we can kind of close the distance here. Because we have about 13 volleys left. Which they should be fine. 
Looks like we got a neutralizers going up. Actually, I am going to help them because of these are our newts. We just want to take them down as fast as possible. Last thing you want to do is get capped out. Usually when they're out of armor <clears throat> or about close like that, I'll uh, I'll cut cycle on them. We got a couple more seconds for we're in range to hit the node anyway. All I need to do is make sure I have enough before the reload to get the node down. And we're kind of like splitting targets here. Alright, I'm going to go cut target on that. I'm going to get this last node up, which is one round. And then we'll put the uh, launcher back on this other one. And that was uh, no loot on that one. So we're going to go ahead and start moving towards the acceleration gate. Got to keep an eye on this um, tower here. Make sure we're not our drones are not taking too much damage. Once this guy goes down, we're going to try to... We'll probably keep our hardeners and booster on since we're moving through this kind of a tower area effect, but we will suck our drones in. And uh, that worked out pretty well because now we're just uh, burning to the gate to get the drones back in. I usually try to select these gates and then just kind of spam the activate gate. Uh, once we get into like 2500 meters just so I don't have to like worry about any extra time being kind of uh, ticked off of it about 10k doing alright still got 38 minutes left video has been running for about 11 minutes um, but I think we're only like 10 minutes in so we're about halfway probably, probably actually like 8 or 9 minutes that pocket went by pretty fast alright and business as usual. Got destroyers up here. Drop one of these destroyers so we can target the node. Get drones out. I'm gonna help with these uh, frigates while we're moving in. Just because we don't wanna we don't wanna lose uh any drones here. That's one thing that sucks about abyssals is um we also can use the uh, double booster on this as well. You just gotta be kind of mindful. You want to take the, the frigates down first because they're gonna be ones hitting you the, the hardest. And once you kind of stabilize, kind of go back down to using one. All right, we're at the node, so I'm gonna go and cut on that, so we can just do one cycle on it. So we can kind of get back to helping the drones out with the uh, destroyers. 8.8 .8 on that one. And then let's go and move to the next node. Can I keep moving? We're checking uh, optimal range. We're checking a lot of things. We're going to cut the, this uh, missile here just so we have enough um, shots before reload to get the, uh, the last node down. We'll be good to go. Actually, we need to get this node targeted. There it is. One cycle on it. Then we're going to immediately start helping the drones out. Go and loot this. Bounced off of it a little bit. Two point seven on that one, and then now we're just going to start burning towards the gate and target up the rest. All right, and now we're doing a reload. We're about thirty-eight from the gate, so our goal is to just try to get all these guys down before we get there. It's all up to the drones at this point. I'm going to turn this other shield booster for a cycle, just kind of cap off a little bit. A lot more uh, targets take down in the third pocket, but uh, we're doing pretty good. 
little bit slower just because of um, uh, it kind of explaining everything. Cut that a little bit. Do we cut targets on that? And what we do want to do is we want to make sure we get all these targets down before we have to actually reload again. So we're managing our ammo. And we're right at the gate too. So SIG tank. We might take a little bit of extra damage since we're not really moving really fast anymore. Alright, we're going to start working on this other frigate here. My drones are split a little bit. I need to put them back on that destroyer. And then I'll put missiles back on this frigate. Easy peasy. All we have is one target left. And there it is. We'll suck in those drones. And then we'll uh, activate gate. Done and done. Alright. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and see what uh, everything was worth in that one. Alright, so as you can see, it was about 24 mil, which is a little low, but uh, just because we didn't get a whole lot of um, variance in the uh, loot. But, I mean, for the amount of time that we spent in there, 24 mil is, uh, is pretty good. So you do a couple of these a day, and that's um, making your way towards uh, making a, a decent amount of ISK. I mean, I usually run like four or five of these a day, so it's actually like, you know, I basically you make like 100 mil very easily kind of doing this stuff. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking into getting into Abyssals and everything like that, um, I actually um, enter the uh, the abyssals through high sec, right? Um, you can also do it through null sec too. But like, I usually um, have just navs placed, you know, in systems that are uh, that I just label them the same. And so, uh, if I'm doing a bunch of abyssals instead of like trying to like run, you know, the same system over and over, I'll kind of just you know hop around to my other you know filament navs and just kind of spread off my uh, traces throughout you know several regions which helps quite a bit so hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time peace out